Welcome to the Simple Neuroscience of Attention. There's a lot going on in our world every day, all the time. Think of an airport with its thousands of travelers, each going in their own directions, food stalls with people eating and chatting, and the constant drone of flight announcements. The airport is going to be used as an analogy for the craziness of life as a whole for understanding the neuroscience of attention. Attention can be broken down into two types, top-down and bottom-up. Top-down involves conscious control from higher cognitive areas, such as the prefrontal cortex. This should be used to search a flight board for the gate of your flight. Bottom-up attention is an involuntary process where your attention is caught by elements of the environment, such as looking to get out of the way of a cart with a blaring horn. Bottom-up attention functions to keep us safe from dangerous events by orienting ourselves to loud noises and bright lights. Whenever our body does something to keep us safe and alive, such as eating, our brain releases a small amount of the reward hormone dopamine. People with ADHD have a lower natural amount of dopamine. This means that every little dopamine released by the brain is a much bigger reward. So every text tone, bird flying past the window, or sound coming from the kitchen can be experienced like a blaring horn demanding attention, especially when doing tasks that are less than enjoyable. This is why it is so important to establish a distraction-free environment and to take frequent breaks to reorient prior to starting work. We will now be doing the airport top-down attention game. You have five seconds to find what gate the flight to Berlin is leaving from. Did you find it in the five seconds? If you did, good job. Let's talk about why having moving objects makes it harder for us to control our top-down processing. It's because there's a system called the tectospinal tract that's part of the spinal cord and whose only purpose is to orient your attention to things that have the potential to be a threat, such as fast movements and loud sounds. In order for you to focus on other things, the prefrontal cortex has to override this function. This is also why limiting distractions when you work makes it easier to get things done. So be kind to your prefrontal cortex and stop making it fight your automatic systems by putting away things that make noise or light, maybe like a cell phone. Thank you for watching.